All right, guys, this is the second hive request I'm doing today. It's not the second hive request in the list I'm doing, but the second one for the day. I'm trying to get them all finished up so I can take a new list. If you're watching my Facebook and YouTube channels, you won't miss the opportunity to get on the list. Okay? So, just be aware of that. <clears throat> oh, I can't get over here. All right. Um... This one's a different song. The one we're doing now is this up here in the green. <coughs> and it's called Happiness is Me and or Happiness is Me and You by Gilbert O'Sullivan. And I've done at least one of his other of his songs. I know for sure, but here's the beginning of it here. Let's see if I can remember it. Sean Cheek, welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Thank you guys for putting up with all the pop songs I've been uploading recently. The kids like those. They get lots of views and, you know, some other reasons I've been, been putting those up. Um, but I'm going to take care of you guys. I know my fan base. I know you're all my age and older and you love the good old songs. And so do I. And those are going to still be coming at you even more than you've been getting them. I usually, I was doing one a week for a long time. Uh, you're going to get at least three a week now, at least. So I'm going to be kicking it up a notch here, or a couple of notches. <clears throat> okay, so just, you know, rest easy on that. You're going to get get, uh, get uh, all the songs you're wanting. Um, the hard request thing has turned out to be pretty good because... That way, I really get to know, you know, the people that are paying. <laughs> those are the ones I'm interested in, right? The ones who are paying. I know what those, I get to know what those people are, that want to have. And all of y'all seem to ha have the same kind of taste in music, usually. So, uh, we're getting songs that, that everybody likes that, that are subscribers to my website. So, it's, it's all a good thing. <clears throat> Alright, we just got a lot of chords here. And you got to play it in a certain way to make it work. You don't want to go. You got to kind of da da da, kind of have a little. You got to kind of let up on that last note, on that thumb note. All right, I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> C E flat F and A flat, which is an F minor seven chord. Left hands on an F, and I hear the bass guitar going boom, boom, boom. So we need to do that. We need to put an F. There on the bass. Now we're going to do that and then play this thumb C, but we're going to do it two times. So one, two. Now you play the left hand F octave the first time, but you also play it on the very last C. So it goes like this. Like that. Alright, so you don't play it every time. I just put two F's so you'd know there were two. It goes on the first thing you play and the last thing you play. How's that? Okay? Let's look at the next chord. The right hand is no different. See, E flat, F, A flat. But the left hand goes to an E flat here. So, one and See how I'm letting up? Da -da, da -da. You want to let the left hand ring, though. The bass to keep going. Okay? That'll take a little work. C, D natural, F, A flat. Left hand on a D natural. I'm going to do this one four times. One, two, three, four. So just think of it as doing it two times, two times. <laughs> then we're going to do this one. A B flat minor seven, which we have F, A flat, B flat, and D flat. Right, this one was a D half diminished chord. There's a D diminished. The half diminished is the C on top. Anyway, for those of you who want to know. Uh, that's a slogan, is it? For those of you who want to know, isn't it? There's an old slogan from something. E, A flat, B flat, D flat. And then E's the thumb note, so one and two. I love that chord. E natural on the left. One and 
Now we're getting so low, it's going to sound too bassy if we do an octave. So I'm just going to do one note. It's my choice. You may like the bassiness. It's too much for me. Alright, now we get here. F, A flat, B flat, D flat. Left hand will do an E flat here. We'll go one, two. Now I'll put an A flat because I, that's what I hear there in the piano part. Instead of the thumb note, it doesn't go the whole note. I hear. Okay? But if you want to make it the F, you can. But I'm, I hear A flat, so I'm going to go. And then we have this. And then this. Beautiful. So we have G, B flat, uh, G, B natural, C sharp. <coughs> Right, an augmented sixth chord. Then we have G, B, C sharp, F. Oh, an E flat pedal. Uh, the left hand stays the same, so I didn't change. And right here it just goes boom, boom. We just play it one time each. Sometimes my keyboard sounds weird to my ears. Because it's not a real piano, you know, it's an electronic instrument. And sometimes the overtones are just come at me weird, especially when I'm tired. <laughs> All right. Let's go from the beginning. We have one, two, one, two, two, All right, we will complete this on the website, uh, you know, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to get cracking on the rest of the videos for this, but of course by the time you see it, they're already uploaded for you, if you're a member. Talk to you later.